station of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour. As always, we meet at the appointed time. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. So what do we have going on today? I uh, talked a little bit about it uh, at the uh, 2 o'clock update. Uh, we've had repeated tests of 36.36, the last major low uh, a while back on the uh, S&P. Um, the first time down there, up there, we had 18 billion shares. We've been struggling to get uh, 10, 11, 12 billion shares. We did have 12 billion shares into that huge push uh, in the very end of Friday. That was the washout. Uh, markets are pretty good about making you have to sweat uh, all weekend. Um, we were already, at least in the daily newsletter, long a couple of positions, not indexes. Uh, but some other ones, and they're both up another 5% today. Um, so we're in the right sector. Uh, could you still get a, a retest of 3636? You could. My guess is that you're probably looking at the next couple of days in being some level of consolidation of breaking or beating out a low at this 3636 level. And that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Uh, we talked about the reversal of the TLT. Uh, and it getting down to significant lows. I think that was leading the market a little bit. And why another reason why I think I'm fairly um, bullish, uh, maybe through the end of the year, I think if we're going to have uh, a really horrible thing going on, it's probably going to be, um, again, probably after the end of the uh, year. I think we've gotten most of the bad news in. We've had a huge move lower. The Fed's probably not going to do anything before the election. What do we've got? Mm, something like, uh, what, 30, 30 days to the election, something like that, whatever, November 4th. So uh, markets tend to like very divided markets, uh, I mean, very divided uh, leadership between Congress, uh, the courts and everything else. They don't like things moving very fast. So we're probably going to have a fairly uh, good amount of gridlock in Washington, D.C., and uh, each branch doing its job, maybe. Uh, so uh, that would be it. And, of course, uh, today also is the first day in October, which is uh, the Supreme Court. Uh, they've got uh, probably five major cases that will impact uh, stock markets uh, and individual stocks. Almost all of these go to some of the cases that have been decided 6-3 over the last couple of years. And that is uh, the uh, major, uh, now I'm going to think about it, major factors, major, oh, major questions is, is what it's called. Uh, but the idea was that Congress could relinquish power to unelected uh, bureaucrats uh, to run um, things like the EPA or OSHA or the rest and not have enumerated powers in whatever the Congress passed. Uh, so uh, there's a lot of these uh, that are going to go back um, and probably get solved uh, in this court. We're also looking probably... Uh, in the next month, getting a uh, reading, or not a reading, but a uh, uh, call up from uh, the 5th and 11th circuits on exactly what uh, media, uh, social media stocks uh, will be allowed to do on censorships. Uh, generally, there's some fairly good arguments um, on the behalf of the First Amendment. Um, a little less uh, from both courts on if there's a right to censor. And we know that there's a right for uh, free speech, but uh, is there a right to censor? 
the question is whether or not you could wear one uh, uh, T-shirt from one side into a restaurant but not the other. Well, that's been settled for hundreds of years. So we'll see whether or not that stuff that's applied for forever will now start applying uh, to uh, a lot of these folks on social media. Um, I think that over time will make them much better competitors in the market, not less uh, uh, well competitors. Uh, but that's kind of it. We've got uh, the golden week with China. And yes, people have already sent me uh, lots of uh, juvenile jokes about uh, that. Um, thank, thanks a lot. Uh, kind of like uh, zero. Thanks for nothing. So anyway, uh, we've got a lot of this stuff going on. I just think we're kind of going to go uh, back and forth a little bit. We're going to consolidate this. More likely some kind of U-ish low down at these lows. Uh, maybe we could go all the way back up to uh, uh, the end of the year. And then maybe that's the next big move uh, in a bigger, longer ABC on the way down if the Fed continues to keep uh, his foot um, – on the uh, on the break, eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Email me at path at tfnn dot com. We already have a couple of emails already here. Uh, okay, okay, and see, got that, got that, and I'm uh, actually uh, we get a good close today. I'm probably going to go long in the Tech Insider one uh, position. Maybe tomorrow we'll see how the uh, close comes but uh, i think it's start uh of uh the fall rally whatever extent that's going to be but i think we probably have three months of uh maybe a drunkard's walk higher in the market i am not bearish out here uh let's do a little history and then we'll move on and it's all just a little bit of history repeating on this day in 1950, AT&T Bell Labs researcher Don, uh, John Bardeen, Walter Branton, and William Shockley receive a U.S. patent for their invention of the transistor, which they had successfully demonstrated two years earlier. And, of course, uh, the first transistor, 1926, uh, it would be another eh, four or five years before volume production of that and actually huge production by 1958. So when we look at things uh, or people email me articles about new batteries and everything else and some kind of new whiz-bang, um, software, you get it done and it works and you just crank it out. Um, hardware, eh, silicon, eh, not as bad to double the power of it. Chemistry, a much bigger problem and that's what took uh, the folks at Bell Labs, a long time to get done. So don't confuse chemistry, software, and uh, silicon because uh, the path on all three is wildly different depending on the ro resources you throw at it. But uh, I had a bunch of questions uh, about uh, uh, a new uh, form of hydrogen. Um, yeah, does it show promise? Yeah, but... Uh, it takes a while for all this stuff to get. We'll be back in a minute. Uh, call me at 877-927-6648. In a time of booming inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16-year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, diverse partner, ready development stage gold project. 
Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Free at one eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight internationally at seven two seven eight seven three seven six one eight. As we return, uh, Ron is the uh, first emailer of the day. You can be like Ron. Uh, or a call, be somebody else at 877-927-6648, or like Ron at PATH, P-A-T-H, at TFNN.com. And, of course, the question is uh, from Ron, uh, so if we're going higher, how high are we going to be? I think we could be up to 4,100 uh, at the end of the year. Uh, that may just be a bigger trading range. And at this point, you could come back down to – uh, this area, and then maybe blow it out. Maybe things get better. Uh, but uh, yeah, generally you want to buy when there's blood in the streets. Uh, when Putin is talking about uh, uh, nuking everybody, and when everything seems uh, as dark as it can get, remember, it's always darkest before it gets 100% dark. That's my uh, silver silver lining for you today. If you needed a little motivational speaker, that was it. Uh, so anyway, let's uh, get back to uh, a little bit. Uh, as we said, we were looking at the TLT. We finally got back to what should probably be that. Um, I think that uh, interest rates at 7% now on new housing uh, are pr pretty much indicative of a lot of stuff going on. In the news, uh, we had a few things happen. Uh, and of course, I was fairly busy with a market rolling uh, and a, uh, a hurricane uh, in the way. So we'll look at it. Uh, but uh, very interesting to see uh, last Thursday and Friday, uh, all the eBay folks, uh, the executives at eBay uh, going to the Gray Bar Motel for some of the stuff they did, they weren't particularly enamored with First Amendment rights. Uh, so they decided to cyberstock uh, some folks that uh, were fairly critical about the business um, practices of eBay and its resellers. This is not the first time we've seen this kind of stuff. But, uh, yeah, a, uh, so, uh, a severed 
pig's head in the mail, uh, lots of pizzas, uh, huge amounts of bugs uh, released into somebody's house. So we're, uh, we've got a couple of these guys. This didn't just last week or anything. It's been going on for a while. But uh, I give the benefit of the doubt until you're uh, convicted. Uh, but certainly we've got uh, at least three in the C-suite uh, headed for the Hooskow. Uh, but uh, from what I can tell, the uh, place isn't very much better than when these guys got uh, pushed out. The same kind of culture is there, and it's not going to get it any better. Uh, and, of course, um, you know, this bunch of folks, pretty much uh, the same bunch um, that it, uh, split with PayPal a number of years ago. Uh, did I do that right? And it's kind of out here making some lows. Uh, they're doing some stuff that uh, probably about half of the United States is not going to like. Uh, and they actually may end up uh, running afoul of at least a handful of states uh, who will make it very tough for them to do business here in the United States uh, if they continue down the path uh, that they are. So what can you say? Well, certainly... Uh, it's going sideways. I, it's hard for me to get uh, um, hot on PayPal. Nobody's talking about it. Uh, the executives uh, pretty much got the stink from eBay still on them for some level of some of the stuff that they've done. Uh, and, of course, uh, you've always got uh, cyber uh, coins, which everybody's looking at a great deal more. Of course, in the news this morning also, we had uh, one of the Kardashians. Aren't they just the same? Kind of an amalgam, a Kardashian, uh, who had to pay a million dollars for uh, running afoul of uh, pushing um, a cyber uh, security in the form of something. I don't know what it was. Dogecoin or whatever. It didn't matter to me. Uh, I kind of lumped them into the whole bunch. The interesting part that I see is the precedent now where a lot of these folks uh, that were pushing uh, cyber uh, cash um, may end up having the same issues with them and them having to get some cash back, uh, give some cash back, if not more. Uh, but uh, we shall see. Um, chart doesn't look that bad. Again, a lot of these stocks are totally beat up, so could it have a bounce? Yes, but uh, uh, if there's one that I'd, I, I like uh, better than uh, PayPal, it would probably be something like e Ethereum, which maybe has a better chance. Um, very tough for me to see PayPal by itself. Uh, Vimo, which I think is partly owned some part i'm gonna have to go back and research that but uh still probably a better system than paypal the only people i know that use paypal or ebay and a variety of other people uh doing nefarious things so um hard to see any of these things doing well as uh one of the uh, gentlemen in the den once said uh pilgrims tend to end up uh face down in the mud a lot with arrows in their back. Okay, I'll get some more emails here. I will take a look. Uh, UNG. Uh, to, 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 um, you generally right now in the uh, a very seasonally good part of um, of the year to be in natural gas. It's just that for the United States, there hasn't been the real cold snap that starts this. Generally, you get something early in September. We just haven't gotten it. Uh, you get a big cold snap that really starts getting stuff going. It'll be just like the way gold turned around today. I just haven't seen any uh, sign uh, and again, I've been watching hurricanes a little bit closer uh, than I've been watching uh, the great, uh, great uh, white north and uh, 
putting on toques, but uh, what, 1st of October? Um, just watch. Look for the first big minus 10 reading somewhere uh, in the Great White North, and that's generally a good time to start looking at going long in UNG. Of course, uh, we've had some very good moves in uh, energy. Um, I went out for, uh, to pick some stuff up for lunch, and uh, I had to really scratch my head at the, if you love diversity, if that's all you can talk about, well, we certainly have diversity in the in the price of gasoline. I saw it at $3.11 here, and then I noticed uh, that it was also $7 in California. Real diversity in price. We'll be back in a minute. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. As we come back, uh, we'll check in. You still have that up? I get rid of it. No, it's still here. So let's take a quick look because the markets are moving rather quickly today. As I said, I wouldn't be surprised to see some back and fill here uh, and do that. But, uh, yeah, we're up 2.8% uh, uh, on the S&P, 2.5% on the NASDAQ. Uh, Dow up 2.9%. Uh, Russell crude uh, up 5%. Um, and, of course, uh, that's uh, something else we've got going on this week, which is uh, OPEC, uh, who are going to cut. As I said uh, just before the break, uh, talk about uh, real uh, disparity. 
uh, three dollars and eleven cents uh, here today in Tampa, opposed to seven dollars in uh, L.A. Uh, yesterday. So I don't know what it is today. Maybe it came down a little bit, but man, talk about uh, paying up. Uh, but certainly uh, you get that. Uh, anyway, question about uh, UNG. I'm just waiting for that. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. I'll do that. Uh, I'll get that uh, during the break, James. And see what else we have here. Uh, no. Okay. Um, anyway, we've got that. Okay, uh, other things going on. Let's take a look. Someone wanted to know on Apple. As I said, uh, I felt uh, uh, last week that uh, a lot of the downgrades and Apple uh, throwing uh, shade on itself um, was uh, something that was telling us that we had a low coming in. Uh, they did the same thing on the highs at 176, which has run out the short, uh, shorts out by telling everybody uh, that uh, out of the rear ends, uh, only unicorns and rainbows were coming. Uh, then they were telling everybody it was the uh, uh, fourth uh, or seventh level of hell uh, coming up the uh, last couple of days last week. So I just kind of do the opposite of what everybody tells me on Apple to do. Um, just assuming that uh, it's all self-serving. So I think we've got kind of that in. You've got a nice reversal day on the candle. You don't have a lot of volume. Uh, do I think this means it goes back to 176? Eh, that's probably going to be tough, maybe 165-ish, 160 to 165. That could set up your ABC on a, a bigger leg down if they don't come up with some new products. Uh, that generate a lot more uh, revenue. Again, 95% of what they do is all about iPhones. They really need to get some other products that make it go better. Um, how do I see uh, fun buying playing out? Well, are you going to get uh, at least three days of this probably holding up, uh, even if I'm wrong about uh, the market? Uh, going uh, and staying here longer. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, maybe you get some pullback on Thursday. But uh, my guess is there's so many people so incredibly bearish that everything, as soon as they get a chance, the market pulls back a little bit, they'll be going 100% short again. And you'll get a lot of back and fill. Uh, and you'll get pretty much to the point where the market won't be able to go any lower because everybody that uh, has been able to short a share uh, has shorted it. And that's generally when you get the uh, rip your faces off rally. I think there's a little of that today now. Uh, but yeah, I don't see any reason why you would want to be short uh, during fund buying until at least Thursday, even if you think I'm all wet. And not just partially wet. 877 Okay. Okay. Got a bunch of, uh, can I look at the TBT? I guess I could look at the TBT. I'm more of a TLT kind of guy, but uh, certainly you have that. This is the short. Um, you have a nice reversal there. Um, that would put a little bit of the fear of God in me. My, uh, you know, when you really look at it, the Fed's job is uh, both on the way up and the way down is to keep the markets from going too fast and then blowing up and blowing up everything around them. Uh, they don't mind uh, big, uh, big bombs. Uh, they do mind nuclear and atomic weapons. And they try to keep it down to the bloodletting, uh, to something uh, Nosferdamus. Nosferdamus? Nosferus? What's the, uh, what's that? I can't even remember the name of the, uh, of the undead these days. I better learn it before. October 30th, Nosferatu? Yeah. So uh, anyway, uh, the idea is there's a lot of bloodletting. 
Of course, I call my doctor, uh, 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 Dr. Acula, if anybody knows that one. Okay. Since so many people don't get it, Dr. Acula. Anyway, 877-927-6648, path at tfnn.com. Keep them coming. Okay, anyway, uh, on the TLT, you're back to uh, where this thing had its giant uh, reversal. So, uh, I mean, resistance at about 3150. My guess is that the Fed is probably going to let the market settle down a little bit, maybe through Christmas. People will probably go back up. question is whether or not uh, a lot of the inflation tames down a little bit. Uh, if it is... Uh, is a problematic on that point. Um, maybe they go back whole hog after Christmas. My guess is they're going to stand back a little bit, even if they jawbone uh, between now and the end of the year. Okay. Two, two, two. What are my thoughts on gasoline? I love it. It goes in my car and takes me places. I'm not exactly sure what they, what your my thoughts on gasoline are. Um, I'm more of a, a, a of a big picture guy, so I look at crude. Of course, with uh, OPEC this week, they're going to discuss how much they're going to cut back to keep prices up. We're already seeing a bit of that because they've uh, apparently agreed to at least some uh, cut back. Uh, the prices, uh, of course, in California are problematic because they've had some pipeline uh, bus uh, and other issues with transportation. Uh, no word if uh, there was a Putin sighting out there in California. But uh, again, I've had a lot of people ask me a couple things. Uh, and I was uh, knee deep in hurricanes last week, so I didn't get a lot of it. But, uh, you know, I want to start a, comp uh, a conspiracy theory uh, that uh, both uh, Putin and uh, Biden got in a diving bell from the 1960s uh, 2000 League Under the Sea movie, uh, hung off the back of the guppy from uh, Gilligan's Island and uh, did it all. But uh, I don't know, rather involved for a conspiracy theory. But uh, I think my theory is just as good as everybody else is, minus any evidence. But uh, that is I. 877-927-6648. Okay. Um, anyway, on gasoline... I mean, you can play uh, the crack spread on it. I've always done better just looking at the crude part of it. And, of course, this week, it's probably all about the crude part with OPEC. We'll be back in a minute. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. 
Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. A question about uh, the Nug man out on the far east Jesus side of Tampa. Uh, this isn't a question from him. It's from somebody else that uh, when I told him uh, the 401, uh, I think I think you if you're going to make a uh, stand, uh, you're probably at least you got three months. Uh, you kind of have to go now, I think, and then. Um, you know, I don't, and somebody else asked me during the break in email, I don't have any position that I wouldn't have a number in advance that it closed below that I would just exit. I'm not going to ride anything all the way down. Um, I'd rather uh, stop out even in a 401k and come back uh, a couple of weeks later uh, and uh, not worry about it. So, no, there's just no way I'm going to get in a position that's... Uh, not got a uh, stop. It doesn't have to be a hard stop because, of course, these days you put a hard stop in just about any uh, equity in the uh, in the United States, and it's going to get run by the machines. They're going to see your order, and they're going to figure there are 25 orders uh, that uh, people would sell at the same spot. So you really, I pretty much just have to say, okay, if it closes below that, I'm out. So there's a couple of questions there. Hopefully that answers everything. We got that one. We got that one. Uh, a lot of talk about uh, 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 they live. I don't know how we got on that in the uh, Tiger's Den, but uh, I love that movie with Roddy Riley Piper, who uh, I think when that movie came out, I remember um, that he had to lose like 50 pounds. Uh, to get into that movie because he looked like a monster on the street. They didn't like it. But uh, I think that was the end of it. He took too many drugs to be the size that he was before, and I think he died of cancer because of it. But uh, great movie. Uh, and, of course, uh, we're all out of bubble gum. 877-927-6648. Okay. <laughs> uh yeah, we're probably going to get some back and fill. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of thinking this is a straight V low. I think we're prob probably going to do a little back and forth here, uh, consolidate a bit, and then start moving a little bit higher. Uh, but uh, you know what? Generally, you don't get the, uh, the uh, change in... Uh, attitude in the market for participants overnight, even when you get a bounce this big, even if it comes with a lot of volume. Uh, so as soon as everybody gets an opportunity, they'll pile back in on the short side. I think we have a pretty much uh, a decent short squeeze out here, but uh, that would be it. Okay. Uh, uh, we were talking about some of the stocks last week that even on earnings and even um, talking about uh, some fairly bad 
our earnings, uh, you really didn't get much on uh, Micron on Friday. You got a nice bounce up here today. Didn't hold it, got to 5308. But my guess is you're probably going to have some consolidations. When you come down this hard uh, and this fast, um, you want to think uh, about, you know, you're going to get some fairly quick moves. Those will be uh, short squeezes. But then after you consolidate and everybody gets bored with it for a while, then you can start moving uh, higher. Uh, but like I said, I have a feeling we're going to kind of stumble up. Um, we've had this discussion before. I mean, you can have a nice vertical line. We had a very straight move down for a lot of these stocks. And if you believe, uh, I don't like a lot of the stuff with the Elliott Wave stuff. In fact, I've never been able to figure anybody that knew how to actually make it work uh, that wasn't looking in the rearview mirror, but maybe there is somebody out there. I just haven't met them. Uh, but certainly the, uh, the idea uh, has been the one thing that I liked at, uh, that came out of it was that rule of alternation. That is, if you come down straight, you're probably going to have a very messy uh, and, uh, and uh, congestive move higher. And that's going to be a lot of back and forth. So I'm not expecting a smooth move higher. Uh, I imagine we'll have a lot of back and forth as we stumble our way back up higher. I just don't expect the Fed to be out uh, saying horrible things before the election. If uh, we continue to have really horrible news, maybe they'll do uh, something after that. But uh, I think they're out of the way for the next 30 days. I don't think they're going to say much of anything that will really move the market. And uh, that may be all we need to get started. Of course, that will take us into uh, November and then Thanksgiving. Generally, if the markets are going to have a big uh, uh, down thrust into the end of the year, that starts uh, a couple of days after Thanksgiving as uh, retail sales uh, take a uh, powder, then sometimes you will have a down uh, down uh, move. Um, but I think a lot of that's already baked in, isn't it? Everybody knows you're going to spend four or five grand more than you did two years ago on heating your home. So maybe those prices that we've come off of, uh, as they said, if it's already known, then it's probably in the market. Uh, two, 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 two. Okay, we have some more emails here. We'll take a look at those. Okay, we looked at Apple. Question about Microsoft, MSFT. Uh, still the best run. Um, don't see much out here. Um, kind of half uh, half hearted effort today on Microsoft. About 16 million shares compared to 35. This one actually did see a lot of selling on Friday. Um, so not surprised you're not getting anything more than kind of a move back. Um, you know, kind of the high on this looks like about 265-ish. Uh, that's this gap down uh, with uh, a lot of volume on uh, the 13th of September. Came down with 33 million shares. That's at 260. That gap goes all the way to 267 or something. Um, so you probably, that's the level that you're probably looking at as being uh, uh, what you would get. Um, 263.14 is the 50% retracement. Uh, if this was just going to be a uh, dead cat bounce, uh, that's and you really don't get any volume on the way back up. Things don't change fairly quickly. That would be, I think, your opportunity to sell if you just go up very poorly uh, into or through the end of the year. Uh, two, 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 okay. Question about the IBB. Um, Friday saw one of the first really large uh, settlements. And, of course, uh, why the uh, U.S. government uh, shielded uh, vaccine manufacturers from lawsuits. Um, lawyers are pretty smart, and they've found some ways around that. The first really big uh, vaccine lawsuit um, went to court 50, uh, and got settled for $50 million last week. I think that was on Thursday or Friday. Um, so you still want to watch some of those. We've talked about that for over a year. 
they're coming. So these things are starting to filter through. We come back, we'll look at the IBB. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. As we come back, a uh, question about uh, Avo, I guess that's how you pronounce it, Avo Pharmaceuticals, A-V-E-O. Uh, just the, the big problem is when you have light volume. You had a million shares up at the top, actually 1.2 at $9. Um, you've got some nice juice coming out here on the right-hand side. Uh, I don't know a lot about the company itself. Um, you're back up to resistance. You wanted a lot more volume today. You had 1.4 million shares at $8.78. Uh, you're, what, six cents below that on a third, well, a little more than a third of the volume. So, yeah, I'd probably, you, don't, you know, you had some nice volume off the low from September 23rd. You just don't have a lot here. Again, I don't know a lot about the company. Let's look at this real quick and see the profile. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, oncology, so they're all about cancer, focus on developing commercializing medicines, uh, and oral next generation vascular 
growth factor replacer uh, inhibitor, which is used for the treatment of adult patients with relapsed or refractory advanced renal cell carcinoma, RCC, if you live in Lutz. Company is also developing some other stuff and some other stuff. So, yeah, you'd have to dig deep into this company to know about it if you're just looking on the uh, chart side. Light volume into the previous high of uh, $7.87. Hasta la vista. Uh, barring any inside information, which I don't have, I would be out. Sell when you can, not when you have to. We will see you again tomorrow, bright and shiny. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible.